All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kodash. Um, double honors to our apostle and our elders of Great Millstone. And um, uh, salutations to you brothers out there preaching this word. Shalom. Shalom. And uh, we're going to um, do a skillful adding uh, to this brother's uh, lesson that he just recently made. Uh, what was it entitled again? Balancing Your Fire. Yeah, Balancing Your Fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, in this truth, you, you know, yes, you, you know, you want to preach and talk about the truth at all times. But there's a time and a season for everything, okay? Because, mm -hmm. you know, this brother was getting into, uh, basically, since he wasn't balanced, he ended up losing his job because of that, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's times where you have to hold your tongue, even though you want to tell the truth, you know, you want to uh, uh, speak uh, uh, about the scriptures, okay? But, you know, you got to uh, apply wisdom. And know when it's uh, wise to talk and when it's wise not to talk, okay? Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah, jump down to I think it was 7. Ten. Yep. Verse 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 7. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. That's right. There's a time and a season for everything. There's a time to speak and a, and a time to keep silence. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you gotta uh, know when to uh, uh, you know to speak or not to speak. Okay. You know every situation that you're in, you don't have to uh, um, you know bring out scriptures. Okay. There's times where you just gotta hold your peace, even if you have to take an L. Okay. Uh, look at your Shah Mashiach. Okay, our Lord and Savior. He took many L's. And we have to take L's as well in this truth. Alright, we take a bunch of small L's so we can get that big W in the end. Alright, because in the end, we're going to see who's right and who's wrong. Alright? In the end. And it's coming very soon. This current kingdom is collapsing right before our eyes. Alright, if these people don't believe it, hey, the hell with them, man. Hey, you just keep it moving. Okay? Hey, well, uh, after two, what's it saying in the scriptures? And I think in Timothy, after two admonitions, okay. you'll reject them, man. Yeah, all right. As a heathen. You know, and that too. All right. Hey, if, 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 you know, uh, a wise thing to do is, uh, actually, let me get this real quick. This is John 3. If you're going to talk to somebody about the truth, this is something that I, um, I always think about. Um, is it John 3? Hold on, give me one second. Yep. I always start off with worldly things, okay? And I always test people mm. out uh, with, you know, how they feel about the things that are going on currently in the world. And then, if they, uh, I guess you could say, are in the right path, then maybe I might st start bringing out things spiritual. But I always start off with the, 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 those worldly things, the carnal things first, okay? And this is uh, John chapter 3, verse 12. If I told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Okay? okay. If these people can't believe uh, the earthly things, there's no point in telling them heavenly things. It's way above their uh, 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 above their mind, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Their their mind can't grasp the, 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 the knowledge, okay? There's no way. Alright? If they can't get worldly wisdom, there's no way I'm going to talk about heavenly wisdom. Okay? Okay. You got something now? Yeah, I don't know if you're holding this, but it's Rock 20 and 7. Uh, 20 and 7, you said? Yeah. Uh, read it. I don't think I had that. This is Sirach chapter 20, verse 7. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, mm. but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I, w I was really hot in the moment, and, I, you know, I just wanted to bring out the truth. You know what I'm saying? This is the truth. It's a hundred percent correct, you know, and um, I should have held my peace. I, sh I should have, you know, hold my tongue at that time. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta. It says a wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity. Yeah. And you gotta know when to attack and when not to attack. Like in the scriptures, it tells us to be uh, um, wise as serpents and harmless as doves, right? Yeah. And when you uh, watch, you know, um, you know those uh, nature sh uh, shows and all that, and when they uh, um, focus on the um, the serpents and the snakes. A serpent is very, um, what, what's the word? It, it ponders uh, their steps, okay? It doesn't necessarily attack its prey right away, okay? It looks for that 
that precise moment to attack, okay? Mm -hmm. When they know that they're going to get that uh, that prey. And that's how we got to be, okay, out here. We have to know when that, that, that uh, we have to uh, take that, um, it's a lucky for uh, lack of words, but we got to know when to attack, man, all right? And the majority of the time, it's actually uh, not time to attack. You got to be uh, out here as a, uh, harmless as a dove, all right? Because the Lord said that he sends us as um, sheep in the midst of wolves. These yeah. people want to uh, kill us out here, man, all right? You know, uh, if not kill us, you know, they, they, like how this brother, um, he lost his job. You know, he had a, a customer complain, all right? Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, they, they want to see us uh, fall, all right? Because they're offended by the word because they're, they're, uh, their deeds are evil, yeah. all right? They don't want to... Uh, deal with the light man and this is the light right here right um actually keep reading oh okay read verse 8 God. this is uh Sirach chapter 20 verse 8 he that useth many words shall be abhorred exactly so don't talk a lot all right don't talk a lot uh, a man that, that uses many words they're going to be hated Especially if we're speaking, uh, the, the, you know, these heavenly words. Hey, man, they, they, what is it saying in the scriptures, man? They hate him that rebuketh at, at the, the gate. gate. Yeah. You know? These people hate yeah. getting reproved. They hate getting rebuked, okay? So that's why it's not wise to use a, a lot of words amongst these uh, wicked people, all right? That's why it's good to hold your peace until really you get to the line, man. I mean, personally, I don't really talk to people about the truth unless I, I'm on the line. All right. I mean, yes, there's uh, there's times where it does occur where you might talk to a person, you know, out here in the world about it, or whether it be a family member, or maybe a uh, you know, uh, you know, customer, whatever, man, whoever it may be, it does occur. But for the most part, for myself personally, I don't talk uh, about the truth unless I'm out there on the highways and byways or doing videos, uh, um, you know, like like you know these sit downs, and that and that's it, really, man, or amongst the brothers, and you know, mm -hmm. other than that. There's nothing... Hey, man, I hold my peace, man. It tells us in the scriptures, man, don't cast your pearls before swine, man, because that swine is going to trample on the on the pearls, man, yeah. crush it out, and destroy it. Man. And yeah. then these people are the swine, man. These per The pearls are, 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 are is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yeah. Um, what else do you have? Keep reading. There's a little um, more in that scripture. Oh, Kanye, yeah. Back in Sirach, chapter 20, verse 8, He that useth many words shall be abhorred, and he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. That's right. Um, I got something else. I got that, uh, what was it, uh, Sirach 28 and, 28 and 12? Tom, you can get that one. Sirach chapter 28, verse 12. If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit on, upon it, it shall be quenched. And both these come out of thy mouth. Uh, you can expound on that, Salak. Yeah. Oh yeah, no worries. So if thou blow on the spark, it shall burn, right? So like that one scripture I brought out about, uh, you know, adding to that man's fire. You know, I I, I should have read his spirit better. And and the moment he said, "Oh, I believe in the Quran. I'm a Muslim." You know, when he said that to me, I should have said, "Oh, okay," and just changed the subject. But instead, I kept trying to uh, prove him wrong. You know, with the scriptures. You know, bringing the authenticity and the truth. Of you know the scriptures, it's all facts here, man. You know, he wasn't gonna get it. You know, and I should have realized that, man. You know, uh, uh, verse back in verse twelve, if thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched, and both these come out of the mouth, right, man? You know what I mean, they're, they're life and death. You know, um, I'll get there. Oh yeah, Bible shot. I don't want to butcher it. This is Proverbs twenty-one, okay. and. Uh, so like in Proverbs 18 and 21 mm -hmm. and it reads death and life are in the power of the tongue and yeah. they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof that's right mm -hmm. death and life are in the power of the tongue uh, as it says in the book of James even though the tongue is a small member it kindleth a huge fire yeah. hey uh, many wars have broken out because of uh, uh, someone's tongue mm -hmm. all right you know hey, and you know when you read the scriptures man you know, there's situations where, you know, the apostles or and disciples and the prophets, they spoke wisely and they got them out of a, a, a jams, man. Actually, um, yeah. uh, um, prolonged their life. 
Okay. All right, so, hey, that tongue is a very serious uh, thing, man. That's why you got to know when and when not to speak, all right? And if you don't have um, the understanding yet, so to speak, you know, pray to the Heavenly Father, man. Ask for the guidance, the proper, you know, uh, uh, path to walk in, okay. all right? Okay, yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. A soft answer mm. turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Yeah, that's you right. Understand? A soft answer turneth away wrath. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but when you give somebody a, a smooth answer, hey, that that, that can um, diffuse the situation. Because even uh, even just the way your um, tone of voice is, man, mm -hmm. you can say the, the, uh, a certain thing, but if you you may uh, uh, say it calmly. You know, your cool, calm, and collective, they'll, they'll um, diffuse the situation. You can say the exact same thing, but if your tone is uh, very harsh, very rough, that can escalate the situation then. But yeah. you said the exact same thing. Right. You know? It's all upon the, the delivery. You know what yep. I'm saying? It, it, that, that's a huge thing. Yeah. All right? And what, what's the second part? It said grievous words. But grievous words stir up anger. Yep. You know exactly. If, they, if you're, uh, you know, coming out harshly, Rebuking somebody, being persistent, hey man, that that's a uh, that, that's grievous to a person, man, mm -hmm. and that's gonna stir up what uh, anger, stir up anger. Yeah. All right, that person can get very angry. Yeah. You know, they're gonna wanna uh, uh, harm you in some uh, uh, some fashion, man. All right. You know, whether it be you know getting you um you know fired from your job, whether you getting actually physically attacked, whether it um you know uh. You know, destroys your character. You know your name. You know, these people are are, are uh, demons out here. Okay. Mm -hmm. You, you got to remember, these people actually have a, a Satan on them. All right. Yeah. They really do. Especially when you start talking about this truth. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because um, they're clean contrary to it. That's right. Um, Salaki, hold up. I got this uh, for you. This is Sirach 19 and uh, 6. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife. Mm. And he that hateth babbling shall have less evil. Oh. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife. Yeah, without without problems, man. Because, uh, you know, you're navigating through life with wisdom, man. You're knowing when to speak and when, when to hold your peace. You know what I'm saying? Um... And he that hateth babbling shall have less evil. Yeah, man, because, you know, what did Job say? He's vexed with the, the conversation of the wicked daily, roughly paraphrasing, I believe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, man, when, when I drove or that with the job I had, you know, I, I, I met a lot of customers. And, um, you know, all this worldly talk would vex me as well, man. All this babbling they did, you know. Sometimes I, I, I'd, uh, I'd hurry up and, like, drop them off, you know. But, um, you know, you'll have less evil, man. Yeah, man. Less conversation with these two-thirds, uh, it's a beautiful thing, actually, you know? Because they're, they're worldly, man. They're very carnal. You know what I mean? They can't get, you know, the, the simple things. You know, they're not going to get the spiritual things. In. And I had to learn that the hard way, you know, by losing my job. But, uh, you know, er everything's a lesson, man. Everything's a test, and, and we got to learn from this. So I hope a lot of you brothers learn from, from my mistakes, you know? Um, where's that scripture with the, in James where it talks about the tongue? Is that far? Uh, let me just double check for you. Yeah, someone uh, just, you know, pulled it out again because now it's a heavy scripture, man. Come on. Uh, oh, three and five? Three and five. Yeah. Oh, there we go, right in front of my face. Even so the tongue is a little member? Yeah. Yeah. So lock it. It's all good. Yeah, this is uh, James 3 and 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts of great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Mm. And then, keep going. Do you want to break it down? Oh, no, I mean, you know, <laughs> man, life and death comes out of the mouth, man, you know? And, 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 <laughs> Like I said here, behold how great a, a matter a little fire kindleth, man. Because, 
a little fire, man, can destroy a lot of things, man, as it grows, you know? And, and like, if, if you keep adding, you know, fire or words to the situation, it could escalate, man. Mm -hmm. The guy could have fought me. He could have hit me from behind. He could have stabbed me. You know, he could have taken my life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, th these are just words. We're just speaking words, man. We're not even getting physical, all right? But these carnal people, that's, they, that's what they want to do. They want to destroy the prophets, man. All right, they want to kill us. They literally want to kill us, especially two-thirds of our own people, man. Because they hate us. They they hated him. They rebuked yes. at the gate, bro. I was just gonna get man. You know? This is uh, Amos chapter 5 and 10. And it reads, They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. God, you know why? Because we're telling the truth, man. When when Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, when he was walking the earth, he was reproving everybody, man. All right, he was calling the sinners to repentance, man, and, and people hated him for that, all right, because they loved their their wicked ways, all right. They didn't want to get reproved. They didn't. They want. They didn't want to be told that, hey, man, you're you're doing wrong. You're fucking up, man. But that's actually love, man. All right, and that's what our people t still to this day, two thirds of our people, they don't get it, man. That's why. That's why it's like no getting you know through them, no matter how much you can say. So. When you do deal with them, deal with them wisely, you know? Use very few words, and like the brother brought out, start with worldly things and see if they get that. Because if they can't get that, they're not going to get the hev heavenly things. That's right. Uh, Galatians 4 and 16. Am I therefore become yes. an enemy? Because I tell, <laughs> tell you, you the, the truth. truth. Yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. You know, um, our people have uh, issues with us because we tell them the truth. Yeah. Hey, truth hurts, man. Hey, uh... It can we end it off with uh, Hebrews 4 and 12? Yeah. You know, because this word is very powerful. All right? Very, very powerful. And people lash out, you know, when this, uh, 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 when the word cuts them. Okay? Come. This is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even... To the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Exactly, this uh, the word of the Lord is sharper than any two-edged sword, man. Yeah. All right, man. It pierces the spirit. All right, it's discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. All right, it calls you out, man. Mm -hmm. the, the, this uh, this Bible calls you out. All right. Yep. It, it, no. <laughs> Whatever aspect of life, however you come at us, whatever it may be, this has all the answers, and it's gonna. And if you're not right, it's gonna cut you. Okay. Done. You know, and that's why these people can't handle, it, and that's why they hate us. All right, because we we, we speak uprightly. Yeah. All right, we rebuke them, we reprove them. Oh, what is that? that? I'm sorry, Slakia. What's that scripture that says that he that turneth away from sin? Uh, becometh a prayer or something. It's not, yeah, it's an Isaiah Salak. You know what I'm saying? Where that's at. Because uh, we're trying to live right according to the laws, statutes, and commandments that were given to us, you know? And, and we're trying to uh, wake up our people, reprove them, you know, show them, you know, tell them to repent, to turn back to the Heavenly Father. All right? And they hate us for that, man. So we become a prey, you know? And like the Lord said that the, the foes... Uh, of you know the enemy, you know the foes of your the, those people in your household are going to be yeah. your foes, your enemies. Roughly paraphrasing, all right. And you see it. I know, and other brothers know that this is the truth because even our own families, our wives, um, our parents, brothers and sisters, they they uh, they hate us. You know what I'm saying? And these are people that we grew up with, man. That that nurtured us and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it was just until that point until uh, we were called into this faith. To go do the work, you know, that the Most High separated us from them because they weren't going to make it, man. I mean, right now they're living as two-thirds, you know. That's so, right. we're, you know, we're trying to worry about the elect, you know, how the righteous are going to be saved, man. Because we know about reincarnation. We believe in that. It's a fact, right? So our family members, um, even though they're two-thirds, they're going to they're gonna get mercy on the other side. On this side, they're going to have to l learn the hard way, right? So right now, all we have is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and the Brotherhood, man. True. All right. That's it. So, okay. That's it? Okay. Yeah. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukakwadash. 
Um, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in New York, and salutations to the Akim pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. You know, waking up the elect. Shalom. Shalom.